Whether you love it or hate it or just don't understand it, heavy metal is a big money business with legions of devoted fans. Heavy metal accounts for about 40% of all record sales, and next year the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences will hand out the first ever Grammy in its new heavy metal category. Today's stars credit one group with starting this now 20-year-old phenomenon. Zeppelin. 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 Led Zeppelin. Jimmy Page formed the group Led Zeppelin, which blended raw sexuality with riffing, the repetition of just a few notes at tremendous volumes. Zeppelin took its fans where no band had gone before. Energy we were putting out obviously touched with other people. And, uh, and it's, it is wonderful. Walk Sabbath, Aerosmith, and Judas Priest, all driven by desires of fame and fortune and by the rumored tales of wild living. There was a lot of debauchery and there was a lot of people going over the top and I know that today there are it's always going to be the case we may kid around about it but make no mistake about it that's the reason we started doing this and that's still the reason we're doing it today girls and lingerie <laughs> towards the end of the 70s heavy metals popularity lessened overshadowed by disco and punk rock groups like Zeppelin and Aerosmith disbanded and except for the occasional successes of groups like Van Halen or Rush Heavy metal all but disappeared from the spotlight until... With the help of groups like Def Leppard and Quiet Riot, heavy metal saved a comeback in 1983. New bands like Metallica, Slayer, and Megadeth were welcomed by a new generation of kids, especially troubled teens looking for a way to voice their anger, and heavy metal music gave them the stage. With kids growing up and hitting puberty, there are all those hormones, and sex drives a lot of this, and the need for power. And then you mix in the alienation that kids are feeling these days, because music is only a reflection of what's going on in the culture, and a lot of kids are feeling very... Fr While filming the heavy metal documentary, The Decline of Western Civilization, Part 2, The Metal Years, director Penelope Spirit got to observe forms of self-expression from today's youth firsthand, stage diving and slam dancing. Parents of America, you should be thrilled that there are concerts where these kids can get this energy out in a, in a healthy way. Because if they were out on the street with this kind of energy, trying to get it out on the guy walking by, it would be mayhem out there. Members of the speed metal band Slayer, a favorite of slam dancers, feel it's all in good fun. They have a good time and they get, and they get you know, they get it all out of the system. Yeah. They just go out there, they have a blast, they run around, they just, you know, have fun, jump around, whatever. But the music is controversial. The focus of the conflict, the lyrics. The songs deal with death, drugs, and sex, and are often tinged with satanic references. Opponents want the music banned, and in some places, record burnings are held in protest. There's nothing to be afraid of if you're a parent. If you like Megadeth, if they would look into the lyrics. We have delved into a lot of different issues, not only political, but religious. And Family, everything. His mother's even sitting upstairs right now as we speak. But the kids love parents' disapproval. And many of today's youth admire and almost idolize these musicians. That can put the performers in a difficult position as role models. We're really being aware of the fact that that's, uh, we are in the spotlight for the kids, and we should give them a good example, you know. It's a heavy weight. 